Now to a senior from Williamsville East High School who gets top marks for a project he's been working on for seven years. Our Derek Hyde has more on a working flight simulator that he built in his basement using a 3D printer and a lot of creativity. I was 10 years old. I was on a vacation in Florida with, at my grandmother's house, and um, I was kind of bored. A trip to a flight simulator as a boredom cure became a life-defining moment for Zaid Al Nasser. I was like shocked how cool it was. Like one of the coolest things I ever did. Just and I said I want one of those. My dad kind of like laughed at me a little bit when I first said that. Ever since, Zaid has spent the last seven years building a life-size usable replica of a Boeing 737 cockpit in his basement. He wired over a hundred switches and salvaged old monitors to make his dream a reality. I probably spend just as much time building as time on my computer just researching. It's probably like within 95% of an actual 737 cockpit. I would never take something like this on myself. Um, uh, you know, he's definitely got an engineering mind. It's equipped with a throttle lever, dozens of working switches, autopilot, and connects to a simulation program built to mimic a real life flight. Um, this is the altitude, so up and down. But the craziest part? I have never flown a plane before. <laughs> Neither Zaid nor his parents work anywhere around airplanes. Yeah. I'm not sure where he gets it, he, uh, he's, he, but he's very motivated. Zaid said he flies at least once a week, and he let me take the plane for a spin. Hey, <laughs> whoa, we lift. <laughs> it's not a smooth landing, but it was a landing. As you can see, I'm not a pilot, and I missed the runway on landing. Zaid is entering his senior year at Williamsville East, and you'd think he'd want to be a pilot or an engineer, but you'd be wrong. I'm looking into medical school in the medical field, so I, I think I want to be, become a doctor. I said I feel like it's more like a hobby rather than like a, like a field I want to spend all my time in. Still, his dad Omar hopes Zaid uses this experience throughout the rest of his life. Whatever he does, the lessons he's learned by, by working on this is going to help him out in the future. Derek Hyde, 7 News, Williamsville.